This morning I sat down with Jake White before they left and began by asking him why the Brumbies job was so enticing in the first place. When I, when I got the job at the Brumbies, um, Eddie was actually visiting me. Eddie Jones was actually visiting me in South Africa. He was actually spending time at my home. It was quite ironic because at, at that time Andrew Fagan came to see me and Eddie was at my home and he said to me, this is the job, you must take it. And I said, why Eddie? You know, I mean, what, why am I going to do in Australia? You know? And he said, the reason you've got to take it is because this is the right time to take it, the Brumbies. He said, uh, it's the club that will suit you the best because the way in obviously knew I coached. And then he said, it was the best time of my life. Obviously, Eddie himself saying that to me, that when he coached the Brumbies. And then the last thing he said to me, Nick, was he said, you're going to get a blank piece of paper like I got when I got there, and you can do it. You can basically run it the way you want to. In other words, you can, you can, set, your own, you can set your own picture. When you were given the job two years ago, did you actually truly believe you'd be at this point so quickly? It's d definitely way ahead of what my expectation was. I mean, I, I say to people jokingly, when I arrived in Narrabeen and I had a bunch of misfits, you know, I had guys from rugby league, I had club rugby players, I had some players, I'd, you know, all those players I'd never even met in my life before. You know, I, I, I was really out of my comfort zone. I mean, I literally arrived here, yeah, I didn't even know what the shoot shield was. If you had then said to me, two years' time, you're going to be in the, in the Super Rugby final, I would have said, you know, there's no ways that I think it can happen with that bunch. You're obviously really big on culture. What are the things that underpin a good culture in a football club? You know, they talk a lot about being in a little town and spending time together, but I think the reality is that's exactly what it's like in Canberra now. You know, there's a, most of the boys live in the same sort of area. We eat breakfast and lunch together. We spend a lot of time together. We talk rugby together. You know, and I was thinking about it today, you know, what's happened in two years. We've probably been able to spend as much time as some franchises spend together in four seasons, you know. So, I mean, they're a very close-knit group, but, but I think it's, again, it's part of the ethos of the club because I think that's been handed down from the, obviously from the previous generation. Picked up by Ben Mowen, up over the 22, the captain stretches out and he scores in the corner. Ben, you know, we, we mustn't forget that when I did select him, people asked why and all that sort of thing, but he, he basically epitomised and, and encompassed everything that I wanted in terms of the Brumbies, you know. Made a sacrifice, bought a home in Canberra, uprooted, moved away from a big city, you know, probably, you know, was a bit desperate in that he knew this was his last gig, you know, he had gone from the Reds, the Waratahs, he probably realised this was the last sort of chance for him to make a claim. And he, and he probably, as I said, probably embraced everything that we wanted in the Brumbies, is that if you come here, you've got to make sure that rugby comes first, but everything works that the club comes first, you know. And, and, and I'd say that in a lot of ways he's, he's also been a massive influence with the younger and older boys to get that message across. And in recent times you've made two inspirational selections consistently, that of Clyde Rathbone and George Smith. they winners, you know, they've won. Nick, you look at what George achieved on a rugby field, it's almost like everywhere he's gone. Suntory they win championships, Brumbies win championships, Wallabies have won Brislow's. You know, Clouds won a Junior World Cup. It's, that's the way sport is. Some guys just happen to be in teams, and it's not, it's not by fluke. History suggests there are a number of reasons the Brumbies can't win in Hamilton on Saturday night. What do you say to that? Well, I think history says that of all the games the Brumbies and the Chiefs have played, the Brumbies have won more. So it just depends which part of stats you want to look at. So that's how I see it, you know. It just depends on which stat you want to use. We always refer to you as World Cup winning coach, Jake White. Where would a Super Rugby title rank in comparison to that? It would rank just like that, I think, because that's what coaches coach for, you know. I mean, it's, for, it would be unfair for me to say that winning a World Cup is, is bigger than winning. I mean, you, you get on the rugby field because you want to win every time you get out there, you know. And, uh, you know, in the context of things, you know, that's why I always say to people, if you could bottle that feeling of winning, you'd be a multi-millionaire. You know, it doesn't matter which game you're playing in. So for me, it gets, I mean, it's fantastic that we win World Cups because I was part of that. But it's as big for me this week winning a Super Rugby title with this group as it was coaching a team for four years to win a World Cup.